Do electrolytes or mineral water cause kidney stones? Let's talk about that. All right, so we're talking about electrolyte, mineral water, that kind of stuff, right? Yep. I hope you're not on YouTube watching, folks. It's great. It is great time. I'm going crazy. <laughs> All right. I get this question a lot. <laughs> I, get, I get this question a lot. See, we just do what we need to do here, folks. I get this question a lot. So, Jill. Sorry, I just really liked that you were you were talking from the other room. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just well, really my funny. voice carries from continent to continent. <laughs> continent. So, um, okay. So, electrolytes, mineral water. Specifically, I'm going to talk about electrolytes. I have patients who say, Jill, I want to take electrolyte water because I heard it will just pep me up and make me feel really good. Um, and so, I'd like to have that. And... I always say this, well, Trixie, are you in a triathlon? Is that, is that, is that you, are you depleted? Have, do you exercise? Well, no, Jill, I haven't exercised since 1922, but I've heard that electric light water is going to make me feel great. And so am I a fan of electrolyte water? That would be no. I just think it's a bunch of marketing junk. Also, a lot of these waters have so much sodium. And so what you don't realize, because you only read the marketing stuff on the front of the label, you don't realize there's so much sodium in these products and you don't need it. I mean, I'd almost rather you get more enjoyment from eating, you know, a junky food. At least you're having some fun with it to take too much sodium in. But getting your water needs met with a lot of sodium, I'm not a fan of it. Also, people who have CKD, there's extra potassium in these drinks. There's extra everything. They're really made, they're being marketed to the general public, but they're really made for athletes that are having a hard time because they're working out so much or they're in comp comp competitive uh, sports that they're depleted. They need the extra sodium because they're losing so much from sweat. So it's very important for them. Or they're long distance runners, right? And they can't drink every five minutes because they can't pee. So they're having a lot of salt. They don't want to deplete themselves from electrolytes. It's a real thing. But the average couch surfer does not need smart water. Also, I will say this. Some of these electrolyte waters, they're higher in pH. Common folk just walking down the street thinks, ooh, higher pH, that's going to be healthy for me. But if you're a calcium phosphate stone maker, it could increase your pH when you already have a high urine pH, which is part of the issue you're making calcium phosphate stone. And that's not good for you either. So I think unless you're a competitive athlete, you don't need electrolyte water. I, that's just my belief. You can come at me at the comments if you wish, but if you turn it around, Buster Brown, and look at your nutrition label with those waters, you're going to see, in most cases, a heck of a lot of sodium because they are designed for athletes, although they're marketed to everyday folks. Yeah, yeah, and this is the reason this came up was turning the bottle around because I have a friend who recently reached out. He's living in the country of Georgia. So he reached out and said he had kidney stones. And I asked if he got tested, got a urine collection, tested the stones, all the things. He's like, oh, no, 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 I know what it was. It's the mineral water I'm drinking. And my immediate thought was, oh, well, mineral water alone isn't going to be the culprit. But then he continued to go on because of the sodium content. And I ended up looking up, and Borjomi is the mineral water that's really common. And he basically lives on this water. And when I looked it up, it's 540 milligrams per 12 of sodium, 540 milligrams of sodium per 12 ounces of water, which blew my mind. I've it's never crazy. seen, yeah, just like a bottle of water that's basically a spring water, a mineral water um, yeah. that has that much sodium. It just floored me. So it's interesting to me. I wonder what made him even look at it. Like what, I wonder what prompted him. Did he learn that, you know, sodium was an issue? Cause he lives in the country of Georgia. I wouldn't think they're, you know, uh, talking about kidney stone disease there, but you know, he's originally from the States. So maybe he just started looking things up. I don't know. And he just happened to look at his water bottle, right? His mineral mm. water. It's yeah. very interesting. 
yeah, it's yeah. I'm not exactly sure how it even uh, how he put those threads together. The thread together. He did obviously see a doctor and everything once he had the stones. But um, yeah, it's just wild. I never expected to see that much sodium in a single twelve ounce bottle. It is amazing. And here's what I say. I mean, every single day, a million times during the day. Please, please, please. Whatever you're putting in your mouth, whether it's fluid or foods, you must look at a label. If your product come with, comes with a label, it's going to have some sodium in it. Notice that plant food, fruits and vegetables do not. And they still have sodium too, folks. They grow in the ground. There's sodium in the ground. So they're going to have a little bit of sodium. But I'm just saying, if you're eating something with a package, it's going to have sodium in it. Turn it around. Unless you're looking specifically for a low sodium uh product. I was talking to a friend of mine. I took Finn and that's why I'm like, are you really still moving about and barking? Because I took him to the park to play fetch. And on the way I met a friend and the friend was like, you know, I'm really trying, you know, people always want to talk to me about nutrition. And stuff. So, you know, and I'm trying to walk my dog. I don't want to talk about walk, work, quite frankly, but I love him. So we did. And he was like, I'm really trying to eat healthy. And Michael and I are eating, you know, beyond burgers. We're not, we're trying to eat a lot less red meat, but I'm like, Garth, turn it around, man. Those packages have what? 800 milligrams of sodium in those burgers. They do, Jill. Boy, you suck. I'm stuck. I, every time I say something I'm doing, you're like this, this, this. Well, but you don't think about it, right? Those beyond burgers, which folks, we have a video on that in this, uh, on this channel. It is beyond processed. They say beyond beef. It's beyond or meat, it's beyond process. It's so processed. Doesn't mean you can't have one here and there, but don't think that's a healthy food. So all the things that we're doing, whether it's from water, electrolytes, uh, mineral water, beyond burgers, whatever we're doing. I mean, we have to look at the nutrition label. There is no reason why people say to me, you know, I don't know. Because the label is your is giving you everything you need to know. It's all there. Do not read the, the front of a package. You need to turn it around and look at what is in that product. From water to vegetarian cheese and meats. Please turn it around and look. Look, 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 look. And then you'll learn. You look, you learn, you grow, you move on. Right? Yeah, absolutely. Well, I think that's a great spot to wrap. And very important note, we have a new phone number because we had an issue with our old one. So it's basically the same, but one digit. So it's 773-789-8764. And unfortunately, we have 200 and what, uh, nine episodes with 8763. But I'm going to see if we can actually recover that number. We had a little issue with our provider, but the number again is 773-789-8764. Or you can always email podcast at kidneystonediet.com where you can send a voice memo. And we'd love to feature you on the show. Come on, guys. Don't be shy. Don't be <laughs> shy. We love hearing from you. Absolutely. So with that, we'll wrap and we'll see you next week. Bye, guys. <laughs>